Good morning, it's uh, Gordon here from Steel Spencer and I'm going to show you how to do a Windsor knot today. Uh, so we have to find the right tie to go with the shirt. So we're going to, we'll say we'll go for a polka dot or we can go for a, a herringbone tie, plain, stripe, pattern. Uh, I'm just fancying this one here at the moment, which is um, it's a pattern tie. That's what you call a pattern. And I'm going to show you how to do a window knot now. So you put it over your neck. You keep the longest side of the tie, which is the, the, the widest part, and you keep it good and long. All you need is roughly about 10 inches on the left hand side. So you'd be the opposite if you're left handed or right handed. Now you swing across, up, over, and down. Then you swing across the opposite side of the tie, up, over, and down. Now that gives you the V. Once you get the V, then you're 50%, nearly 70% there. So the next thing is you swing across the front, up, over, and down. And there we have it, your wins are not. Now, how's it going to look? We're going to put it on now, just make sure, put the top of the shirt and up it should go. Once you have it up, then you put down your collar of your shirt, just like so. And you put in the back of the tie, should go in just like so. That's how you get it tied correctly into your waistcoat, and there you have it. I wonder that.